a quick haul video of some of the things that I picked up while I was in the US yesterday. So the Bo and I just went across the border to do some shopping essentially and also to pick up a Nordstrom order that I placed and sent to my US mailbox. And um, I'll start with my Nordstrom order first. So I picked up three things. Um, I placed the order like last week and then it shipped. I just used the regular um, free shipping that they offer and uh, they use UPS so it was super quick it took like maybe three days so I placed the order I think on like Friday night and it arrived at the US address um, by Thursday so perfect timing because I picked it up on Saturday or that following Saturday anyway so I picked up two blushes so these are Burberry blushes because if you're in Canada or at least in Ontario Burberry is no longer at the Holtz on Bloor. These are some of my favorite blushes. Um, I just love the pigmentation, the color selection, even though they're not super kind of fancy um, or unique. I just love how natural they look on the skin. So the first one I got is number two Cameo. So packaging is um, pretty nice. So it comes in like this textured box comes with a little um, velvet sleeve that has like the Burberry check on it and also the compact has the Burberry check etched into it. Um, this one, like I said, is Cameo and it's just a really pretty kind of um, dusty rose color and I just love it. I actually used mine all up. Um, well, actually, <laughs> I used um, most of it up and then I hit pan on it and then I have this habit of dropping compacts on the floor, ended up cracking and um, just getting everywhere. So I picked up a new one. So this is what it looks like. It has like a little brush that I don't really use, but I keep it in here if I'm in a pinch. The other Burberry blush that I picked up is number six Tangerine. And um, again, little velvet pouch. And this one is uh, quite unlike what you would think it would be. So tangerine, you think it would be more of like orange, um, but it is kind of like a mix of like a brownie peach, um, which kind of, you know, doesn't really sound very appealing, but it's so pretty on. The last thing I put in my Nordstrom order is the Jouer Matte Moisture Tint. So um, I have used this before actually. I got like a set of them, um, or like a sample of them and um, I really liked it so I picked up the full size so I got the shade chamomile which is the, uh, the I don't know the fourth darkest one like there's only five shades so I got the fourth one in the range so not the darkest one but like the second darkest one so yeah I got chamomile and um, it actually is a really good match um, I think the one that I got in the sample size was nude which is I think like the lighter one down from this and um, it's a bit too light well I could pull it off if I wore bronzer but this one is definitely a better match this one is very similar to Chantecaille just skin in wheat in terms of shade range and um, yeah I'm excited to start using this again there is a Sephora at the Walden Galleria so I ended up picking up one thing from there and it is the Marc Jacobs bronzer brush and I've heard just so many really good things about this so I wanted to try it out and this is what it looks like so one thing that irks me is that it doesn't come in like you know it doesn't come in a sleeve or anything like that it's just kind of in a plastic or cellophane bag and that's it it doesn't have like a brush bristle holder or anything to cover the bristles or just not anything super fancy especially for the price range I thought it would be packaged a little bit more pretty but um, I really like the brush and I'm excited to use it for my Chanel bronze universal um, and other you know bronzers and potentially even powder because it's a really really big brush so it's not really good for like contouring or anything um, it's more of like an all-over kind of brush then I went to um, Urban Outfitters and I did not buy anything at or any clothes at Urban Outfitters I really just only went in there to pick up this guy so I just went to pick up this guy and it is ceramic it's two bunnies and one's like kissing the other and I just think it's really cute and um, I picked this up in Canada like I don't know months and months and months and months ago um, and uh, I actually broke it so I broke um, one of the ears and I broke it in kind of a couple different pieces so I couldn't like glue them back together because one of the pieces was missing and I couldn't find it so it was just a whole ordeal and I tried looking to see if um, I could find this again in the stores 
in Toronto, but I could not. And I was so happy that they had it at the Urban Outfitters in um, the Walden Galleria. So I use this basically for my rings because it's like a ring holder. And um, yeah, I just think it's really cute. I just kind of set it on top of my uh, table and um, I just, I like how cute it looks. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you my Target haul um, slash two things I got from Walmart uh, before I show you what I picked up at Forever 21. So at Target, I got my mom a birthday card because it is her birthday um, next week or next Friday. So I got her this cute card. I actually already bought her a card, but um, I wanted to get her a different card. So this is what it looks like. I just, I really like it. I thought it was cute. Then I picked up this. So this is the um, popcorn popper. So this is actually available in Canada and I, I actually already own this. Um, I bought it at a Target in Canada. Um, but I love this because it's essentially a, a microwavable popcorn bowl so you just put like the kernels in here and um, stick it in the microwave and it pops your popcorn I love this because I've never really been a fan of the um, microwavable popcorns that come in the bags I've just you know never really happy with the taste it's either too much butter or not enough butter or um, I don't know it just tastes like preservatives um, so I've never really been a huge fan of that so what I do or what I like to do is actually just pop my own popcorn and I do have a popcorn popping machine but it's such a hassle to like take it out of the box and plug it in and like put it together and all that stuff so this is so much easier you just put the kernels in the bowl stick it in the microwave and then it pops in the bowl and then you can just use the bowl as like a serving dish so love this and it's in red the ones in Canada are only in like a kind of like a tan color I got one Laneige product uh, from Target and um, yeah, Target carries Laneige products now and um, they're actually at a pretty good price point. Nothing was over, I think, $55. Um, this is the Laneige Bright Renew Emulsion um, for all skin types. So it's basically kind of like a brightening cream. Um, so I'm excited to use it. It's supposed to help fade and prevent dark spots and renew skin's radiance from within. This was $30 and you get like 3.3 fluid ounces. And um, there was another thing I wanted to try from this brand. I also wanted to try this uh, BB cushion from Laneige, but they didn't have my shade range. They only have light, medium, and dark, and I would be a medium, but they were all sold out. Um, but I'm excited to try this. So it comes in a really nice bottle. So it comes with a pump and um, it's not, I don't know if it's made out of glass. It might be made out of glass, but it is pretty hefty. So I'm going to try to be very careful and not drop this one. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, so the last things I picked up from Target are these cute Hello Kitty hair clips. Um, I got quite a few because I um, sent, sent a picture to my mom and she's like, buy me three packages. So I ended up getting her three and then um, one package for myself. So they're just really cute Hello Kitty hair clips. They were only a dollar each and um, I just thought they were adorable. The only thing I picked up from Walmart are these two boxes of green tea. So this is like my favorite brand of green tea um, that you can get from just, you know, a regular grocery store. Um, so this is the Bigelow green tea with lemon and um, I just, I really love the flavor of this. So I picked up two because I can never or it's really rare that I can find them um, in Canada, so yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the few pieces of clothing that I picked up from Forever 21 to conclude this haul video. Um, the first thing are these kind of like palazzo pants, and they have like this really pretty floral design on them, and um, I just thought they were really cute and super comfortable, and these were $15.80. And I believe in Canada they are um, like $18 um, or maybe 20 I don't remember. But you can get them here in Canada. This shirt has a whole story to come along with it. Um, I picked up this shirt in the States and um, then I got it home and I realized I got it in the wrong size because it's actually for my mom. So I thought I got her the small because... Um, what I did was I picked up the small and then I realized it had like a little bit of a hole um, under the armpit and then so I put it back and I was like rummaging through and I thought I saw another small and um, so I picked it up from the hanger but then I didn't double bother double checking because we were kind of um, like getting ready to leave then. So yeah, I ended up actually picking up a large 
so it's a bit big um, but I just I thought my mom would really like this because she has kind of a thing for butterflies so um, I got this for her but I knew that this would be a bit too big for her and um, she kind of you know she doesn't mind like the boxy look but she doesn't want it to be too oversized um, so I went to the Forever 21 at the Eaton Center today and I ended up finding the shirt again so this is in a small which is um, a bit a bit more suited for her and um, yeah so I will give her my mom this one and then I'll just keep the large for myself because I don't mind if it's like kind of like loose and off the shoulder um, but yeah so in the states this top was 1580 and in Canada it was 1880 so just a couple dollars more this is another top that I did not pick up in the states I actually picked up at the forever 21 in um, the Eaton Center but it's just a really sheer uh, again kind of like that boxy top and um, it has like a faint floral design on it it's like a gray design and uh, I just really liked it I'll wear it for work then I got this top here, which is another kind of loose top um, with the flowy sleeves. I love the color of this. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys is uh, this top. <laughs> I own this top in so many freaking colors. I own it in white. I own it in um, ivory. I own it in like a kind of beige color. I own it in a coral color. I own it now in a blue color. So this is one of my favorite um, shirts or tops for work because, I don't know, it's just really easy to wear and um, it has like a bit of pleating at the front, um, pairs well with pants or skirts and um, yeah, so now I own it in blue. Okay, so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please let me know what you have picked up lately, even if it is not from the US. Um, or maybe if you have gone to the US lately, let me know what you picked up from there. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!